I'm Gabriel Kalka, and I am originally from uh, New York, Long Island. And through a confluence of events, uh, began visiting uh, the Bozeman area more and more regularly until I stayed there. I've always uh, had a penchant for carpentry, and uh, the um, I've mostly worked with wood. Discovered clay along the way. What it is, I have favorite ideas, and if, I don't even think they're really favorite ideas so much as, as a line of thought that I'll latch onto and I'll hold on to that idea and I'll keep, it's almost like a mantra, I'll keep making a group of ideas until I, I don't feel like it's, it's there anymore. It's sort of like rewriting a poem over and over again until you exhaust all the possibilities. My name is Susan Matson. I live in Helena, Montana, and clay is my medium. I had an incident with some rabbits that really confounded me in a way that's kind of a synchronistic experience that happened and I really wanted to honor these rabbits that I actually ran over driving. From then on I started remembering other experiences I've had with animals and I wanted to honor those experiences. My name is Dale Livesey. I'm from Helena, Montana. Uh, I'm a landscape artist uh, working in oils, and uh, I started when I was 12 years old. One of the things I really concentrate on is the, like the end of the day, and that time when, when the world is changing, our world is changing from, from day to night, and how whenever that happens and we're out in nature, we're, we're like, here it is. Here it is, this is just, this, there's the light. And he's like, this is the best time. And I think there's a psychology also about how we're shifting to our nighttime, we're, we're, we're cognizant of our, of our lives at that time of day somehow. And so I think not only do we see it visually exciting, it's also spiritually a part of us and changing. Um, I'm Amy Brakeman Livesey, and I live in Helena, Montana. And I've been working in acrylic, with acrylic paints, but mixed media. I call everything mixed media because I'm leaving myself open to use anything. All of the paintings that are here at the gallery, the seed for the figures comes from antique photographs. So this particular photograph I found at the Montana Historical Society and was just so struck by the, by the imagery of it that I wanted to work with it. And then when I'm doing that, I'm using my own colors and I'm using my, my own kind of layering and abstraction to make it, to give it a different sort of energy.